Hello, everyone, and welcome to another issue of People's Health Dispatch. Today, we are meeting with uh, nurse Shaza Ouda. Shaza is a nurse and she's a health activist from Palestine, and she served for quite a while as a steering council member of People's Health Movement. Also, she uh, was the head of the board of directors of the Palestinian NGO uh, coalition. Shaza spent 11 months in one of the prisons of the Israeli occupying forces. And this was between July 2021 and June 2022. We will talk today with her about her experience in the prison and health conditions in jail. Also, we will discuss with her the reality of life in Palestine today. Welcome, Shada, and thank you very, very much for accepting to join us today. Uh, thank you, Hani, and uh, of course, um, uh, thanks for everybody. Thanks for uh, People Health Movement, uh, People Dispatch, for all the support that uh, uh, that you give you gave it to me uh, during my uh, arrest uh, in the jail. Um, really, it was admiring campaign you did, um, and uh, I'm very thankful for that. And really, it's helpful. And uh, this is will uh, uh, this kind of solidarity uh, mean a lot for me at all level for my family, for for me in person, and for my uh, uh, community in general. Uh, I hope that the campaigns. Uh, and next campaign will be for all the prisoners uh, and for to improve their health conditions uh, in general. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And as one of the co-chairs of the Steering Council of People's Health Movement right now, I, I assure you that PHM is completely committed to continue to defend health activists from all over the world, especially in Palestine, who are subject to lots of um, oppression. So, Shada, we heard from multiple sources already that civil society in Palestine has been under attack for a while right now. Can you, can you please Tell us more about that and provide us with some context and explain how this is connected to your arrest. Uh, of course, um, I mean, uh, being under incubation as a citizen and as an organization, we are uh, all are uh, uh, a target uh, for uh, Israeli uh, forces and uh, so we are not protected, uh, whether we are working in civil society or uh, in uh, political parties or whatever. Uh, this is the first principle. Second, that uh, um, uh, I mean, uh, there is a, a, an attack uh, uh, on the civil society organization, mainly the organization that uh, providing and uh, giving services uh, to the humanitarian services like health, education, agriculture, rights, um, uh, and so on. Uh, part of these attacks also uh, um, uh, focused on uh, human rights organizations that uh, work uh, uh, at international level uh, that, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, they expose the Israeli forces and government, uh, uh, the violation against the Palestinian people in, uh, in their rights, about their rights, whether the social, the political, and uh, uh, and everything, and always they are uh, asking for uh, uh, punishing and uh, for uh, uh, the importance of respecting the uh, the international law that related uh, and the uh, Geneva Convention related to uh, applied to Palestinian uh, people. So, um, and this is an, uh, the work of this civil society organization is annoying for them, and. Uh, uh, you, we noticed that uh, uh, the people who were uh, under focus and attack, the people who uh, um, do awareness for our people, do the stead, uh, try to stead fastening uh, our population, mainly who are living in uh, remote area, in area considered uh, area C and so on, whether we provide services or other kind of services. 
and they try to connect these civil society organization with um, uh, as um, a tourist groups and organization that uh, uh, they help and uh, uh, the, the population uh, to uh, to the to resist and uh, under these you know uh, conditions uh, they attack our organization they arrest uh, the um, they arrest me and other em employee in order to, to weaken uh, the organization and uh, um, uh, to stop our uh, work. You spent almost one year, uh, one full year in, 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 in the jail. Would you share with us some of your experiences um, during this time? And can you describe how is life? in yeah. the presence of um, Israeli occupying forces. Uh, my sentence was uh, 16 months, and I spent like 11 months, almost a year. T tomorrow it will be the occasion of uh, finishing uh, the year, uh, in 7 of July. Um, my experience, it was very hard at the beginning. For me, I was astonished that I why I should be arrested. I mean, I'm 60 years old, I'm working since long time, with, uh, with with different organization uh, and you know that uh, people in Palestine uh, who are active politically or uh, you know they want to do some act of resistance they start young I mean I'm not young you know I'm, I'm doing my way and I believe that I'm contributing to our to my uh, community and my society this is the beginning but I said okay this is an incubation and we are not a, any nobody protected from uh, being in jail or being uh, under inspection or whatever. Uh, inside the jail, uh, I move um, in two jails, uh, uh, two places. The first place, it's called Hasharon, uh, and um, uh, I slept in this uh, kind of uh, uh, jail, and this kind of jail is in very, very difficult uh, condition. Um, uh, it's mixed also with um, uh, political prisoners and uh, criminal prisoners. I slept there, but every day they uh, moved me to another place for investigation. I spent 21 days uh, under um, uh, long, long hours of investigation, uh, starting uh, three o'clock in the morning. Uh, they, I wake up and they, uh, 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 they take me to, to this kind of uh, place for investigation. It took like three hours traveling in the morning and three hours or more uh, in the evening. Uh, and we spent like 10 hours, 12 hours, uh, nine hours. Uh, it depends. Uh, it depends on the people uh, there and on the questions and the type of question they in the in, in this place is very uh, terrible one. Uh, in terms of cleanliness, cleanliness uh, uh, in terms of uh, the food, uh, food is very poor, uh, uh, very smelly. I can't eat uh, uh, from the food, so that's why during this twenty-one year, uh, twenty-one day, I lost around nine to ten kilo. After we, the, I finished the investigation and uh, the uh, they uh, uh, they release the uh, sentence for me. They sent me to the uh, women presence called uh, Damun. Uh, it's in Haifa, and in Haifa, there uh, the condition become much acceptable. Uh, this doesn't mean that we are living in luxury uh, uh, condition because the jail itself it was built since Osmani uh, era, so it's very, very, very old. And uh, several time they did assessment the Israeli um, units. Uh, engineers and others, and the security part, they did an um, assessment for uh, the jail, and they said it's not well uh, or suitable for the human uh, living. And it's uh, in security-wise, it's not that much. Um, I mean, protected. I mean, there is always uh, uh, gaps here and here inside the rooms that they can run away from uh, from the jail. Um, the, the room inside there is uh, very hot and in winter is very cold um, uh, you know it needs a lot of painting, needs a lot of uh, work um, the water we are uh, we, can, we can't drink the water a lot, uh, they put a lot of high amount of chlorine 
that's why we buy all the time our water because there is a canteen there that uh, the prisoners they can buy their, their stuff so we we were buying most of our stuff that means we are inside the jail and we pay for our living inside the jail i noticed inside the jail that most of the um, uh, prisoners there inside uh, the, the girls and the, the others they have iron deficiency anemia and they have uh, low uh, um, storage of iron. Uh, they have, uh, uh, all, most of them, they have a vitamin deficiency, like vitamin D, B12, and others. And any kind of uh, uh, request for our rights, uh, we, we struggle a lot to, uh, to obtain it. Like uh, we retain back food, uh, we will, uh, we don't uh, any. I mean, we close our uh, uh, rooms and we don't go want to go outside the, to uh, for uh, the, the break for that going out the room uh, unless you fulfill our uh, uh, request. And this took long, long steps to uh, obtain our uh, rights. Uh, and it, the the things that we were asking is very elementary things and very very basic things like uh, uh, we want to improve the health set we want uh, we want our medicine for example or we want to uh, have a checkup for uh, elderly people uh, every week for their blood pressure for their sugar or whatever i mean i'm giving like uh, an example we don't want to be moved from our rooms because we uh, this is our role that we want to stay with uh, with our uh, the prisons that I choose. So they were uh, want to enforce who is, uh, should live with who. And we, re we reject, for example, this decision. And for that, they did a big attack on, uh, on, the, uh, on our rooms and prisoners, and they bring uh, units from outside to beat in us, uh, to take us from the rooms by force. And they close their rooms and uh, uh, they um, they do not allow us to to take our bath for two days, and this is I mean by international law it's not allowed. I mean the prisoners every day they should uh, take a bath, and because our bathrooms is outside the rooms, I mean we should work uh, uh, walk through the the corridors, and also we were uh, like uh, uh, rejecting and. Uh, that we have all around the place that we go for work or, or play uh, sports, uh, there is a camera all over. So they, we were always under uh, their uh, uh, you know, monitoring. So most of, uh, I mean, we have prisoners, they are covered. I mean, uh, they want to, um, to expose to the sun, their hair, their face. Uh, they can't do that. They can't play uh, because they know that the uh, the uh, the uh, the people uh, you know running the uh, the the prison, they, most of them are male, and but and there is also female. So we feel always that we don't have our privacy in terms of going to the bathroom. So all the the uh, representative there, they know that we are going to to take a bath, or we want to walk, or. So this kind of pressure um, uh, make a lot of uh, troubles for prisoners and uh, uh, for our privacy, for our needs as a, wo as a woman. Uh, the, uh, the, the prison's uh, principle built on that, uh, uh, the limitation of freedom of the people and not to move, not to talk in, 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 this, in his way, not to work whatever he wants. In general, this is the principle, the idea of um, uh, le the limitation of your space and uh, your freedom. And part of that, the isolation of the prisoners from the outside, from uh, their environment outside, from their family. From uh, That's why uh, I left the, the Damun without any public phones inside the uh, Damun hospital, uh, Damun, sorry, jail. Um, and it was it, uh, the uh, the women prisoners inside Damun. The only prison they, they do not have uh, phones, because in on other prisons uh, there is a phone, 
that uh, the prisoner they can talk to their family once a week at least so uh, also we have uh, we did certain steps of uh, uh, to, to, to have uh, phone, uh, phone calls at least like we we can uh, we call our families in our feast once every month like two times i called my family during the uh, this period and when they want to punish us first thing they do stop the visits family visits stop the canteen to buy your things from canteens and they stop uh, seeing your uh, lawyer because by, uh, our lawyers they come and visit us in a regular basis so this kind of pressure they do it for uh, uh, for the prisoners. 